Coach will give some opening comments, and then afterwards we'll take questions. Just raise your hand, and I'll get you a mic. Um, All right. Everybody ready? you ready? Yes, All right, let's go then. Here we go. But, uh, well, well the, um, this is kind of our first chance right here to get a good look at, at uh, uh, coaches off the field, a first start. Uh, first scrimmage, it was all about competing today. I think that you saw that. Uh, you, you saw it in all avenues. I mean, from, from our kicker, um, you know, from Connor Limpert, you know, going seven for seven. Er, er, you know, every special teams drill that we did today, it was all a competition. Somebody was winning, somebody was losing. So the biggest thing that we wanted to come out today is how our players responded through adversity. Um, I thought that we competed well. I thought there were some really good things that we saw. Um, and, and, and there's, there's a lot of things we got to improve on that. Don't get me wrong, but, but it was definitely a, uh, um, some things were, it was a great starting point for us. Uh, and, and, and that's what it was. It was a chance for us when they stuck their face in the fan to see exactly where they, where, where they were. Um, they had to think on their own. They had to respond on their own. Um, I thought that we got tired early, um, after that initial surge, Hit us all, offense, defense, everybody. Uh, I thought there was a little bit of a letdown right there in the middle, um, but but I was really pleased to see them push through, uh, and um, so that that was promising. Again, a long way away from where we need to be, but uh, we're do, definitely doing a lot of really good things right now uh, in all avenues. I thought offensively, just some guys that came to mind uh, from an offensive standpoint. Um, of course, we played a lot of quarterbacks today. Um, a bunch of them played. There were some. There were some things that they, you know, they did well. There were some things that we're still inconsistent in. Um, you know, we're consistently inconsistent at quarterback right now, uh, for the most part. But uh, it was a, it was a, definitely a starting point. I know Coach Craddock will hit on that a little bit later. But it was a chance for our our, our quarterbacks to to uh, focus in on some of the things that they felt comfortable with. That was the way we called the scrimmage today. Uh, they actually came to coach and, and put a list of, of, of what they felt the most comfortable and could play the fastest at, at doing. And, uh, and that's usually what we do in a first scrimmage anyways. I thought Malik Williams and Chase Hayden ran exceptionally hard. Uh, T.J. Hammonds has, has done some really good things as well. Um, we've got to get better in pass protection with T.J. That's, that's, uh, it, it's more than just you know, toting the ball. We've got to be able to stand in there and, and – uh, uh, when, when everything's barreling, barreling down on you, you've got to be able to stand in there and protect for that quarterback. And that's something that, that we haven't been quite as consistent at as we want to be. Um, but we did see some good things there t- today running the ball. Thought all three tight ends. I think we had three tight ends, uh, and each one had a touchdown today uh, from Jeremy Patton, C.J. O'Grady, and, uh, and Will Gregg. All three caught t- uh, touchdowns today. Thought they did some good things. Again, they've got to learn to play when they're tired. Um, that's that's the, the, the position that, that we've got to have uh, that, that allows us to play fast. And uh, you, could, you could definitely see them early on um, getting winded, uh, as, as a lot of them it were. But, uh, but they pushed through. I thought wide receivers, Tyson Morris did, did a couple good things early on, made a couple guys miss, I caught a ball in traffic. Uh, he needs to finish through the goal line. He let up early, and that's not what we're about. So we, we talked about that, and he'll continue to get better on it. Again, this is a great teaching tape for us to go back in and really dial back in with our players uh, as, we, as, as, we, uh, as we grade this video um, for, for a start. Uh, Tobias Enlow did some really good things as well. Again, he's tired. Uh, we got to keep pushing through with that. Um, I thought that uh, – um, Let's see, there was one other that I, that I was, I was uh, um, LaMichael Petway. I thought he did some good things. Um, again, I, I thought I was impressed with him and some of his blocking. Um, he, there were several times he had to, to, uh, to, to, to push crack a, a drop down safety, and I thought he did a few things that, 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 that you know, sprang a couple of runs. Uh, but again, just, just some things I thought offensive line wise, we, we're, we're trying to find the right five rotation right there, and, and we're doing some really good things. Um, uh, Brandon Wall is, is, has been a pleasant surprise. Uh, a guy, or Brian Wallace, I'm sorry. Brian Wallace has been a pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise. We call him B-Wall. Um, obviously, we know uh, Froholt has been as consistent and a great leader. Um, he runs the he, – he's, he's in charge up front. Um, so that's, that's been good. Ty Clary has been doing some good things. 
Uh, again, we, we've, we've got a lot of guys. Kirby Adcock was, was sick but pushed through today. So there were some guys that, that, that were a little bit bunged up, but uh, we, they, they pushed through. And again, that's, that's a sign of, of what we're after in this program. I thought defensively, um, again, great energy. Um, you know, we want, we want uh, you know, Chief has told you guys all that, that we're about a pressure, pressure defense, and, and, and I know offensively felt that today. We had a lot of pressure sitting in our face, and that's, that's good. That's what we need to see. Um, the, 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 the things that they, we do defensively uh, are unique and uh, very, very much uh, all about the pressure. I thought Jamario Bell, I think he had a, had a strip sack, scoop and score, whatever it might have been. Uh, he, he, he keeps showing up, and, and it's good to see. Uh, this is a guy that has all the physical tools. Uh, we just got to keep, keep bringing him along. Um, you know, Sosa, Sosa is, is another one. His motor runs full, full, full throttle. And uh, a guy that uh, plays passionate, loves the game. I thought our defensive line is, is, is doing some really good things. Uh, we, again, long way away. Randy Ramsey has found a home. Uh, there's no doubt about that. This guy is, is, is um, he, he's, he's freaky athletic. He, he's got a, a uh, um, man, he needs to write Coach Chavis a, a thank you note for what he's doing right there now because this guy here is, is doing some really good things and, and extremely difficult uh, to block as he comes off that edge. Um, again, getting him to play hard, all of them to play hard and consistent as we are at every position is, is, is called coaching, and that's what we'll continue to do. Cameron Curl is a guy for the last three days has just keeps showing up. I mean, he is, he is uh, every time you see, you see number two right around the football. And um, I believe he played corner last year and we moved him to safety this year or, or this spring. And, and he just seems comfortable. He seems at home. And, uh, and he's, he's, he's making plays. He had, some, had a great practice on Thursday. And uh, he definitely did some really good things today. But overall, the effort was, 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 uh, was there and it has been there. These guys have, these guys have, have uh, has continued to show the hunger. Uh, that they have the thirst for knowledge, um, they don't want to disappoint, and uh, they're, they're they're trying to please this coaching staff, and um, and and so that's that's always great to see. Everybody played, everybody on that field played today, and we got a great great video to uh, to to grade, and uh, and it was all about the competition. So thought we did some really good things today. We got a long way to go, but but uh, uh, these guys brought the energy from the get go. So with that, I'll open up for questions. So Ty Story opened with the ones. What had he done to, to reach that point for you? And can you evaluate maybe him and Cole specifically? Yeah, I, I think the way we have done practice is we've, we've just kind of started right now with seniority and uh, at the quarterback position and, um, and, and rotated those guys through. Uh, that's kind of what we've done every practice. Coach Craddock will speak more on that. But, uh, uh, but I will say this about Ty. Ty's doing some really good things. Um, he's in, in, extremely um, – Extremely smart um, and very confident, and in, in, in some of the things he's doing, and you know, Cole's done some some really good things as well. He's he's a great competitor. We really want to make our quarterbacks live. Uh, thought about doing that today, uh, at least for for a period or two. But you know, I'm, you know, we're not there yet. I don't want to do that right now. But I would love to have the depth there to be able to do it because I think that would really show a lot. Uh, about where, where a quarterback is before you you know you get him in a game. Now, obviously, we're not doing that, but I would love to be able, to, at some point, be in a situation to do it. But uh, they're they're all competing, is what I would say right now. I mean, there's you know Cole threw a couple of good balls today and did some good things. Um, we got to get him playing faster, um, and, uh, and and when I mean faster, I'm talking about with the urgency to get going. And, but that's just something that you, you, you understand when you transition from different offensive schemes. That just comes with it. Uh, but, uh, but they're doing, they're doing well um, trying and, and adapting to it. So. Camario Bell kind of bounced around a lot of positions over the years. Just how has he responded to your staff and late being in the 4-3 yeah. and everything? He's been, you know, first of all, he, he's, every time I've seen him, he shows up and he's got a smile on his face. And, um, you know, he's always trying to say something to me before I say something to him. And, uh, but just comes in the building with a great attitude, comes in the building with an eagerness about himself. Um, and, and it's shown. It showed out on the football field. And it has for the last, you know, five practices. 
Um, again, a guy that's, uh, you know, we, we need him. We, we need him to come on and, and to be the guy that he was recruited to be. Um, and, um, but, you know, from, from and, and whether it's a fresh start or not, I don't know. But, you know, sometimes guys, when they come in and you get a fresh start, it just has a whole, you know, breath of fresh air for them. And, um, and he's kind of pro- – he's out to prove something. Um, and, and if he's able to do that and provide some depth in that defensive line for us with Coach Caldwell and Coach Scott would definitely be, a, be an addition to this football team. Coach, what are your early thoughts on Dre Greenlaw? Just a just a fierce competitor, always around the football. Uh, I, I was sharing that with him this morning in a team meeting. Uh, before we got started, I always try to go in and pick a couple guys out and talk to them and um, share a few positive things with them. And 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 I, I just shared with him, man. It's just like the fact that the closer he gets to the football, the more violent and more productive he becomes. Extremely smart, intelligent, um, and and is always is always lining people up and getting them getting them where they need to be. But um, Dre's got a great future in this game and uh, just a fierce competitor and, and uh, really a good leader. Uh, we actually got talking about Coach Chief and uh, said, tell me about him, what you think? And, and uh, so we were telling some, he was telling me some stories and laughing and, and just enjoying it. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's having a lot of fun and doing a lot of really good things. Yes, sir. So, Co- <clears throat> so Coach, what, do you, what did you think of Cullen Dalton's performance today at quarterback? Yeah. Well, you know, I mentioned Cole just a little bit earlier on it, and, and you know, they're all consistently inconsistent, to be honest with you. Um, but they're, they're, each one brings a little different positive to the game right now. Um, and, and they all understand this. They all know we got to get better. Cole's got to play faster. He's got he's to process. He's got to go from the signal to the communication to get lined up to his pre-snap reads and snap the football. And that needs to be done in about five seconds. It's got to go. Uh, and so to get him to speed speed his his thought process up, that just comes with time. That comes with knowledge. He's going to get there. Um, you know, he's got a great he's got a great skill set. Uh, you know, I, I, again, I would love for him in particular. I'd love to see everything around him collapsing. What can you do um, when 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 you're in a in a live situation? Because he's so big. I'd love to be able to run him in some short yardage. See what he could do. Um, but right now, you know, you're, we're not doing that. We're not there yet. Um, and then Dalton, Dalton's a, a, another one. He's got the skill set. He's got the, the uh, you know, when he gets out on the edge, he's got the ability to, to take the lid off of it and go the distance. Um, but but he's, he's processing right now. He's, he's swimming in some areas, as they all are. But, uh, you know, he's got he's to continue to p- keep picking up this offense. And, and the way, you know, everybody learns a little different. Some you can sit in here and talk all day long. Some you got to go out and walk it. Others got to go out and run through it and see it, and then they got to hear it, and they got to write it, and then they got to go teach it. Everybody learns a little bit different, and so that's Coach Craddock's job of getting all that knowledge in. And, and we've we've inundated them with so much right now, um, but these guys are, are are they're trying, and Coach will be the first to tell you. Um, but it was today was about you know tell me what you can do and let's play fast. So he's doing well. So thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I saw Malik Barkley, Dalt Wagner. Is there anybody else that kind of got held out of practice, injury, or you said some sickness or anything? Uh, we had Malik Barkley had been had been out. He had a hamstring um, the other day in practice, so we, we, we held him. Um, Dalton Wagner uh, was – was uh, uh, we kept him out as well from just an injury. And then we um, – I think Reed, Reed was another one that uh, we, we kept out today. You touched on TJ needing to improve in, in pass blocking. What what will that do for him as a player if he gets get him you know, on the field? Where you would want him to be? And, and I mean, can you not? You feel like you can't play him if he doesn't? No, play no, him? no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm gonna talk, let's talk about the whole running back group. Sure. You have to be able to pass protect in this offense. You just have to. In any, any offense, you, you go to the next level. You got to be able to pass protect. Um, you come from high school level. You got to be able to pass protect. Um, but you know, just the urgency and understanding how to, you know, because you've got different protections now, and you've got different reads, and you slide and you scan. But, but, um, and I think they're all working on that. I know Coach Trailer's really working hard on all those guys in the pass protection. Uh, he's got a great talent. Um, there's no doubt about that. He's got an incredible talent. And um, but it's got to be a complete package. We we can't we can't put him you know him or anybody else in there, and knowing that that, that the protection is going to have a breakdown right there because you know. People around here, you know, they see a certain weakness, 
in this league, they're going to attack that weakness and they're going to exploit you. And so, uh, but that just comes with knowledge. So he's doing he's doing some really good things. He's carrying the ball well, running hard. Um, and um, I'm, I'm excited about TJ. Coach, as far as installation and what you allowed Chief to, to throw at you, was it a little bit or was it everything they had? I mean, was there a lot of pressure? No, we, we saw a lot of pressure today. Uh, offensively, we did. Saw a lot of pressure. Um, but it was more about scaling back and just doing the basic, more day one install. What can they do that you know as a coaching staff and we know that they can do? And let's just let them go play. Let's just see what they know. They're going to mess up. They, they are. So let's be able to see what they know and coach from that. And uh, but we did, you know, coach brought some pressure and uh, and that was good. It was good to see. We, you know, offensively felt it and and you got to be able to pick those things up because that's what's going to happen. So anyone else? <coughs> all right, we appreciate you covering the Razorbacks. Let me tell you, we don't take that for granted at all. So thank you very much. <laughs>